Let's talk about equity method accounting now. The equity method is used to value a company's investment in another company when it holds significant influence over the company it is investing in. The threshold for significant influence is commonly at 20-50% of ownership. Under the equity method, the investment is initially recorded at historical cost and adjustments are made to the value based on the investor's percentage ownership in net income, loss and dividend payouts. Net income of the investee company increases the investor's asset value on their balance sheet, while the investee's loss or dividend payout decreases it. The investor also records the percentage of the investee's net income or loss on their income statement. So when between 20 and 50% of the stake is purchased, we should recognize it as a long-term asset at full price paid. As net income is generated by investment, it would be included in the consolidated income statement as a percentage of investment company. As dividends are paid by the investment, we should reduce the investment on the balance sheet and cash increases as the investment is liquidated. Here's an example of equity method accounting. Let's say Tiger Incorporation purchases 30% of Panther Corporation for $500,000. At the end of the year, Panther Corporation reports a net income of $100,000 and a dividend of $50,000 to its shareholders. When Tiger makes the purchase, it records its investment and the investments in Associates Affiliates, a long-term asset account. The transaction is recorded at cost. Tiger records the net income from Panther as an increase to its investment account and it receives dividends of $15,000 uh, which is 30% of $50,000 and records a reduction in the investment account. The reason for this is that they have received money from their investee. In other words, there is an outflow of cash from the investee as reflected in, in the reduced investment account. The ending balance in um, the investments in associates account at the year end is $515,000. It represents a $15,000 increase from its investment cost. Re this reconciles with their portion of Panther's retained earnings. Panther reports a net income of $100,000, which is reduced by the $50,000 dividend. Thus, Panther retained earnings for the year at $50,000. Tiger's portion of the amount is $15,000.